Let's do it. Hello, wrestling world, and welcome to Wrestling on the Rise, where we talk anything and everything about wrestling. I'm your host, Rich Michaels, and on this episode, we talk Survivor Series, NXT War Games, and New Japan Pro Wrestling. We also have results of last episode's What Moves You, and a new matchup to dedicate it to the NXT spectacular event happening on Saturday. Plus, we got a recap and highlights from Barry Wrestling's Never Forget 3. And honestly, I can't wait to tell you everything that happened on that event. So let's start episode 23 with highlights from Barry Wrestling's Never Forget 3.
Wow, so there you just saw it for yourself. Barry Wrestling is full of surprises, like Von Vertigo snaps his ridiculously long losing streak, JT Kirk gets a win on the board in the best of seven series, a gladiator-like effort from Gabriel Fereza against the Riot Makers, Jazz Heartless's revolution disbanding and falling apart, and the end of the Mark House era as Tyson Dukes is now new Barry Wrestling heavyweight champion. And after the match, Mark House said this was his last match for Barry Wrestling. So thank you, Mark House, for holding it down for Barry Wrestling from day one. So on some exciting news, remember when Barry Wrestling owner Sean Gibson said he had an announcement that would shock the world? Well, he did just that. Check it out. So Lionel Knight versus Revolution. <laughs> Gentlemen, maybe you have a match you might want to sponsor. The game. Let's do this in a 15 foot cage. What? Yeah! 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 Revolution versus Barry Wrestling in a cage. So, December 9th, it would actually be Jay's Heartless and whatever's left of the revolution, which is just Shane Sabre, versus Lionel Knight and his mystery partner inside a steel cage. Barry Wrestling presents Decimation on December 9th in Barry. Now it's time for What Moves You. Last episode, we asked what dream match would you like to see happen? And with 35%, The Undertaker and Finn Balor is the winner. We thank you, everybody who voted, and it was actually a pretty close one. I mean, the runner-up was Pete Dunne versus William Regal with 25%. But for this episode, considering that War Games is back for the first time in 20 years, we want to know what's your favorite cage match structure, okay? And here's the options. Hell in a Cell. Elimination Chamber. War Games. The Steel Asylum. Cage of Death. So make sure everybody votes in the comments below, or you could also vote on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling on the One, and you could also vote on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash wrestling on the rise. New Japan still left the world in shock after a match of Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega being made for Wrestle Kingdom 12. And now, New Japan Pro Wrestling has made another dream match. It's almost confirmed that IWGP Heavyweight Champion Kazuchika Okada, can never say his name properly, versus Chris Jericho in their Australian tour. Now, the date hasn't been set yet, but I will let you guys know when the information's in. So, Survivor Series is happening this weekend, and we got some changes going into the event. Now, Jason Jordan has been replaced by 14-time WWE Champion Triple H, and Alexa Bliss is now facing newly crowned SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte. But now there's a void in the SmackDown Women's team, and WWE said they will announce the replacement at Survivor Series. Personally, I'm hoping that it's Paige. I would love to see her back at Survivor Series, and I think she'll fit in perfectly on SmackDown Live. NXT War Games is also this weekend, and the historic event is definitely going to be a takeover to remember, with crowning of a new NXT Women's Champion and the return of War Games itself. I mean, I am so interested to see how the structure looks like after being remade by WWE. I will be posting my predictions for NXT War Games and Survivor Series this Friday, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed watching episode 23. But most importantly, please make sure everybody votes for what moves you in the comments below. And you could also vote on Twitter and Instagram at Wrestling on the One. And you could also vote on our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Wrestling on the Rise. And for next week's episode, I will be posting the outcomes of my predictions for Survivor Series and NXT War Games. But until then, peace. See you next week.